Welcome back, everybody. A brand new episode, FTB Infinity Light. Now, some of you did pick up on that little name change. Others, not. Uh, you didn't. It's not a big deal. Uh, but yes, this is the Infinity Light pack. Now, it's something you guys probably didn't know. I've known about it for quite some time, but uh, non-disclosures and such and such, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um... Yeah, anyways, I did a whole bunch of mining off camera here. We got some Yalorium and a few other things that I needed to basically get us started on some other stuff. I also found that zombie and slayed him. It was fine. No big deal. All right, so uh, what I was thinking is, you know what? I could go into Ender IO. Ender IO is great. And we probably should go into Ender IO pretty darn soon. But I've decided, you know what, we already have a few mechanism machines here. Let's do a little bit of mechanism to start off with. Um, while I continue to work towards getting my curse stuff, I haven't really been in the nether. Uh, public uh, disclosure announcement there. Yeah, I haven't really been in the nether in quite some time, so... We're going to have to bite the bullet and do that at some point here. Um, but yeah, overall, things are pretty good. I have this flattened out island over here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, as I think most of my machines will be able to fit into here. At least until we set up a quarry. And then we have our basement down here to set up even more. So I think... We're going to kind of just tough it out right over here. Um, obviously, the mechanism stuff, this isn't really working for me at the moment. It's it's a little non-conducive, to say the least, uh, to the things that we actually require. But uh, we can get at least a little bit started. Ah, you know what? Should I do Ender IO? All right. I'm going to pause the video and decide. Because I am really on the fence about this one and what to do first. So I decided uh, while I'm waiting, while I'm figuring out exactly what I want to do here, uh, let's just. What do I repair this with? I don't even know. Anyways, um, while I'm waiting, you know what? Let's go to the Nether Hub. I've never been here before, actually. And it took me a while to find it. But as you can see, some beautiful people. Uh, we have a little Nether Hub here. And I think that's closest to my base. Uh, but anyways, this is actually spawn right here. So I'm going to identify this as spawn, just like such, um, to get to the hub. And just to kind of have tracking around. Did that not... Uh I made a waypoint, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Uh, but also, a few other things. Uh, Modmus and Thomas, uh, if I'm not mistaken, have done quite a bit of work. And these two things are what I'm after. End portal and Wither Farm. Perfect. Two things that I need. I need that drop of evil. And I need to get some Ender Pearls. We really don't have either. Now, for both Mechanism or Ender IO, I think Ender IO requires more Ender Pearls, if I'm not mistaken, than Mechanism would. But, uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy to have this. Uh, Modmos' Ugly Wither Farm. Help yourself. Well, then, help myself. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I like the sounds of this. Oh my. Well, um, we're just going to take two of those. Uh, nothing to see here. Roomba. What is this? Oh, is that open computers? Oh, so awesome. I am not good at open computers at all. Put three skulls in green slot. Run MNT3B robot or manually place the skulls. Place skulls here. Huh. Okay. Okay. Got a little grid and everything. Added an XP collection as well. Very nice. Uh, what else do we have here? We have coal. 2.7k coal. <laughs> I'm helping myself. That's what they told me to do. I'll return a bone. How does that sound? Item and XP collection on and off. Oh, this is sweet. 
This is awesome. These people are awesome. I love it. Um, yeah, awesome work with the Wither Farm there, if I do say so myself. Now, Thomas is, and Mod Moose is that way. I'm assuming the end portal is this way. Now that we have our drop of evil, that's going to be very, very beneficial for us in the long run because we can actually capture the ghast and work on some flight and all that kind of stuff. So they're like, dude, quit worrying about it. Just go and steal some is literally what they told me. So uh, they told me to take a stack. I took two. But at least I know where they are, right? We can always come and collect some more. So that's good. Now, I'm assuming this here... What is lighting this anyways? Global from Tinker's Construct. Global. Okay. Not suited for consumption. Snowball with glowstone. Huh. That seems really strong. Okay. Uh, end portal. I have not been in here before. So let's go. We'll see what... Uh, See what we end up with here. Uh, I'm not sure. I believe somebody mentioned that you... Why was that so loud? Why was that so loud? Why? Why was that so loud? What is going on? Why? Why was that so loud? I don't get it. Alright. Uh, somebody did mention that you need flight. I hope that's not the case, because if so, we are in deep trouble. Uh, we do have the slingshot. We can maybe make it work. I don't know. Guess we'll... F Aha! Oh, God, that was loud, too. Why are things so loud? Why? Why are things so loud? Okay. All right. I'm glad somebody built a pathway. Uh, there's a lot of endermen here. That's good. Uh, there's a lot of the little end portal things. I'm assuming people have gone through them. And, okay, there's the exit there. That's good to know as well. I think at this point, I'm just going to have to uh, kill some... Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this? Yes. That's an ender lily seed. Somebody missed it. I know I'm way behind the other people in coming to the end here. So I'm not surprised in the slightest if they're almost all gone. I'm going to grab as many as I can and uh, see what I can at least come up with. Because, yeah, as many as we can get is the better. Because we don't really have a way of making ender pearls at this point in time so i'm gonna run around see what i can come up with uh i'm probably going to kill some endermen what is this celestial crystal all right uh, the biggest thing is though i do not have fortune my luck with lapis has not been good we have not gotten much lapis at all so let alone looting or fortune for my pickaxe i do not have it for my sword either we might actually have to go a different route because i have not benefited at all from it so yeah we just have not found the lapis all right so i took raj and hermes uh portal because well as you can see it's actually not far from my base it's pretty easy and look at this majestic awesomeness i love it beautiful beautiful people make sure you are checking them out on twitch that's where they do their thing uh, it looks like they have something up here. I'm guessing it's mechanism wind turbines, because those are pretty overpowered. If you can pull them off. Boing. Oh, man, this mountain, though. Oh, boy. It's probably a lot easier. I think they have creative flight, so it's probably a lot easier to scale this mountain with creative flight. Just saying. Yep, sure enough. Some mechanism wind turbines. Beautiful and amazing stuff. That is the stuff of legends. Uh, outside of that, let's head on home. I think I'm going the right direction. Yeah, I am. Okay, good. Ready? Boom! Let's slingshot it and let's have some fun. Oh my. Oh dear. Oh my.
I love it. All right, so uh, I think I've decided to go with mechanism like I originally planned. I think that's the best way to go for us. Uh, I think it's just one of those things. I want to teach people some of the good stuff along with some of the cool stuff. Like immersive engineering is more along the lines of the cool stuff, right? Like it looks cool. It's, oh, oh, ow. Well, that's uh, a little awkward. It's fine. It's fine. No big deal. Nothing to see there. Uh, nothing happened. I don't know what you guys are talking about. All right. But, uh, you know, like immersive engineering is the really cool stuff, in my opinion. Whereas uh, some of the things like mechanism, as well as being cool, is really, really useful, especially later on in the game as you progress along. So... Uh, I think we're going to start that. By the way, yeah, this isn't working. I don't know why. It's supposed to, as far as I'm aware. None of you guys actually posted why it's not or anything like that. So I still don't know for sure why. But, uh, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. All right, we got that. I made my cursed lasso uh, because I figured, you know what? We got the drop of evil. We might as well keep it on us now here and be ready to go on that front. But we also got the ender pearls here and all of that. So that's going to be useful. I collected an entire stack while I was down there. Um, so overall, good things there. I don't think I've really killed too many of these things so a lot of this stuff's new and it's clogging up my inventories uh-huh mm -hmm. yeah see don't have that i got a rib bone in there though and i think i have one in here too see see look at the things that i'm doing wrong all right one of the first things i want to do is i want to put down our ender lily seeds on some end stone just so that we can start generating some more ender pearls there um while we're waiting to get it into a farm or a farm-like scenario so that is definitely something that we are working on so mechanism let's go crazy here uh mechanism is awesome mod it allows you to duplicate ores it's kind of like an ender io kind of like a thermal expansion uh, those types of mods, uh, but it's got a lot of uniqueness to it and some really strong and awesome things with it as well that we're going to be looking at getting into. I do feel like Mechanism needs its own uh, little area, but we're going to start it here without even worrying about that yet because uh, maybe you guys can give me an opinion. Maybe we'll do it over there. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do it here and hide some of the stuff downstairs. Uh, mechanism does take up a decent amount of room, so you're going to want to give yourself enough space to really take advantage of the mechanism capabilities. So make sure that you give yourself a lot of space. I think that's a, the biggest tip I can give. Uh, anyways mechanism adds some really awesome blocks and we're going to get a lot of the basics here so we already have the enrichment chamber this is number one this is the step that takes your iron ore or anything like that and converts it into dust all right so yellowite into yellorium dust for example so this is the same as the crusher we built from immersive engineering it also does some other things like sand and gravel you know just some other good things you can get you know stone stuff like that it's pretty straightforward but uh yeah it's a great machine and you're going to want it for sure and of course we already have the metallurgic infusers here as well that's what we use to make um the steel that we were producing for our immersive engineering as well so the next one that i want to get is probably the smelter uh, basic smelter factory. Yeah, we can click on that, I guess. Uh, yeah, so this is bringing up all of the recipes here for all the different things. So crusher is pretty useful down the road here. We will be getting that. Uh, but the main thing is the energized smelter. This guy right here. Uh, okay, that brought me back to the same page. Awesome. Okay, metallurgic. 
purification. Energized smelter. We found it. So we need some basic control circuits. That's good. We need this steel casing, um, which is bringing me back to here, which is steel, osmium, and some glass. All right. Some glass and some redstone. So the main thing that I'm seeing there that we don't have at the moment is some glass. Yeah, I don't think I have any glass lying around, and we don't have much for sand either. Um, how do we get some more sand? We can use the crusher, which we don't have. Uh, pure daisy, mana infusion, sag mill, the extra utilities crusher. Could do that. We could throw it through here. Grass block turns into sand. That is not useful at all. I guess we can just macerate some cobble. That's probably the easiest method here uh, out of the methods that we have available to us. So let's just quickly, you know what? We're gonna do the stack here and we'll get it all going into glass. So that's gonna take a little while, sadly. So once we get the glass and some of these other parts, oh, we needed to get that circuit as well, didn't we? Um, yeah, we did. Let's see, it was purification, energized smelter, the basic control circuit, osmium and redstone. Okay, so I did manage to find some osmium between this and last episode. Um, I d actually didn't have very much osmium overall. So what we're going to do is we're going to enrich a piece of redstone. That's going to give us a great little block called, uh, what is it called again? the compressed redstone that can go in the metallurgic infuser and that now equals eight worth so we can put eight osmium ingots in here and that is going to uh eject off thank you that is going to give us eight of these basic control circuits now you're probably going why are you making so many well you'll find out we'll go through them pretty quick don't you worry don't you fret. We will go through them very quickly. Uh, so we got the osmium. We got the steel. Let's get the steel casing. That's a fantastic first step. And I'm just going to do it like this and see if this energized smelter... Yeah, it's still not going to help us get anywhere closer. So we got the glass, the control circuits, and the redstone. We should have actually everything ready to go. Uh... This mod is going to take a lot of iron. It's going to take a lot of steel. I can tell you those things right now. It is not a cheap mod by theory, but it is a little bit cheaper than, say, immersive engineering. All right, energized smelter, get. Beautiful. Um, we're kind of short on room over here, so I'm just going to throw this guy down right there. But it's, it's a smelter. It's a basic smelting setup that you're going to use for smelting things. Simple as that. It requires power, just like all the other mechanism setups, you name it. Um, so keep that all in mind. Now, those two are going to get you the two times uh, your ores and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we can progress through and get more. But my main goal to get today is a jetpack from Mechanism. This guy's going to help us actually hunt the ghast in the nether so that we can then get ourselves the much better, much better angel ring. Now, this is going to require a couple of different things. It's going to require another one of those, some tin, and this basic gas tank. So overall, it's actually not very expensive. Basic gas tank, a little bit of redstone, some steel, good, and some tin. Something that we haven't really used much of. Uh, so we need just four redstone is all to get this completed. So let's quickly make ourselves the gas tank. These are very, very useful, just saying. With that, that, we got the circuit and the tin. There we go, jetpack from mechanism. I know, right? That was so difficult to make. The problem, or the difficult part, is actually getting the fuel for it. Now, it's going to require hydrogen. Yes, indeed. So, to get some hydrogen, we need an electrolytic, I believe that's what it's called, electrolytic 
separator, indeed. And that's going to require an electrolytic core, which I know for a fact. Um, get, there it is, page three. I got to remember that. Some enriched alloys, lots of enriched alloys. Okay, so that's five, six, seven of those. So we might as well do another one of those redstone things with eight iron to get those guys going. Again, you're going to need so many of these. If you do have the resources, just get tons. And I mean like a couple stacks of each, if not ten. Because you're going to go through it pretty quickly overall. So we're going to get that going. Uh, that'll start us on the electrolytic core. We also need two osmium dust, iron dust, and gold dust. All right. We can do that. We can do that quite easily. We got those two like that and some osmium dust. So those four items we need. We're going to have to wait for the macerator or you know what? Better yet, let's just do that and start that process up right now because that thing takes a while. So that's going to get us our electrolytic core. And then we're going to need four iron, two redstone as well. So four more iron uh four more thank you and what was it two redstone should handle the job to get this block 100 percent made up so that was like this nope the other way good we got the four iron in the corners and then of course we need to get ourselves the enriched alloy and the electrolytic separator so we have our gold let's get our iron Let's get out our enriched alloys that we need for this. Boom, boom. And there's our final five that we need for the other process as well. I'm going to uh, wait for this to finish up because we've got to do two osmium like this, which eh, it's so slow. So an electrolytic separator with the electrolytic core. Very nice. Uh, oh, I wanted to get this glass going again. We'll get that up and running. Now, this guy's going to require power as well, but it also needs water to be piped into it. So I'm actually just going to put it down right back here because we don't need to worry about it too much. But what we need to do is we need to supply it with some water. Make sense? I guess. Maybe. Uh, it does to me, and the reason it does is it's going to separate the fluids out into their two different components. So you're going to get hydrogen and oxygen out of this process. So we need to get water in here, and I mean, there's a couple ways that you can do it. Obviously, you can just manually do it, just like this, by filling it like so, right? That's not going to be very effective, just saying. Um, it's really not going to be very effective and I'll demonstrate to you that it drains it out pretty quick, but we are getting some hydrogen. Now hydrogen is of course what we need for our jetpack. So two buckets is going to get you actually a decent amount of hydrogen. There's a few different things that you can do here too, is you can set things to dump excess so it'll keep going even if you have too much of it or something like that. So, you know what? For our current purposes, we might as well just do this manually. That is a lot more hydrogen than I was anticipating from this process. I mean, we've almost filled up that entire hydrogen setup there, but I'm pretty sure we're also draining our power 100% out. Indeed we are. And it's really slowed down. Um, so that's not good. We need to supplement it uh, quite dramatically here. Our power in this neck of the woods is just not good. Maybe we should do it over there with our extreme reactor. Uh, yeah, probably should. But it's slowly filling itself up. We're slowly getting there by theory. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a little boost. And I think what I'm going to do is just get it a lava generator. This guy's pretty cheap, and we do have some lava lying around here that we can take advantage of. So let's get ourselves nine of that. Do I have a furnace in any one of these? Dropper, furnace, got it. Nailed it, 
Okay, lava generator, furnace, that, and some stone. Oh, man, really stone? Ah, oh, I used up all my stone. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll get some more. We can make more, I say. We can make more. Uh, there we go. Put it in the furnace. Excellent. Let's quickly get our redstone block with our gold. I don't know why these crafting stations seem a little bit laggy to me, but they do. Um, for whatever reason. I don't get it, but uh, yeah. They seem like there's a little bit of like an FPS loss or something. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to remove this furnace generator and place down the lava one here instead. I'm going to still place this one beside it as well and throw a torch down so that we're not doing bad, bad things. Uh, but I want to get ourselves a little bit of lava and we'll just give this a little boost. Just manual boost of the lava up in here. We really don't have a great source of lava but i did collect a whole bunch of buckets of lava so yeah this is using 160 rf per tick that is pretty substantial so yeah it's using quite a bit to fill up our jetpack but you know what the jetpack's going to be full and we'll be good to go all right so i want to fix up our power issues a little bit more and we're just going to do it the easy way now i don't want this to be my main power or anything like that but we're going to do some wind generators from mechanism very easily made items um not very expensive i personally think that they're very overpowered uh luckily we're also up on a hill so that's going to benefit us quite a bit um, with their power generation. So we need a little bit of osmium. I guess that's the only downside is we don't have all that much osmium at the moment. But they are very, very effective as I believe they produce, uh, what is it, 480 joules or something like that? I think that's correct. I can't recall off the top of my head, but it's a ridiculous amount overall. Um, pretty much too much for a passive power gen compared to that immersive engineering windmill right beside us here it produces a lot more okay that's basically what i'm trying to get at all right uh mm -hmm. that's fine okay uh so what i want to do is i want to get some blocks first of all so let's quickly just get some random blocks it doesn't have to be special at this point in time um, for what we're doing here because this isn't the permanent solution. Uh, this is just a temporary one that I want to use to get up and running. All right, so boom and boom. You can place them right beside each other and you can fall off the ledge, apparently, and jump really high. Okay, uh, so you can place them right beside one another and you can literally just connect in with any power type whatsoever. Uh, it's pretty strong. Let's see about how do I want to do this? How do I want to get power down to all of our items? Um, that is a great question. I don't think I have too much that I can do here. I do have some immersive engineering stuff that I could look to use, but I don't think I'm going to. I think that we are probably better off getting a different cabling of sort. Now, we could get a mechanism cabling. That could be a thing. We might have to, actually. The universal cable. Um... Yeah, you know what? We'll do a little bit of universal cable here. It's not the ideal scenario. It's not what I was looking for. Uh, but we're going to need Ender IO as well. I've just thought about it. We're going to need all the things. It's fine. All right. So this guy is going to connect up here. Boom and boom. Perfect. And we're just going to run it over top. Uh, again, nothing too special about the way that I'm running this at all at the moment. I just need more power to my stuff. There we go. We are filling up the bar and we are processing so much faster. All right. 
Good. Uh, so then we'll just kind of connect this in as much as possible. Uh, why was that breaking? Why is that breaking the snow block? Why? Okay, I don't want that. Um, why did he? Why? Oh, if this breaks out, I'm going to be so annoyed. It's breaking it. It's breaking it. I don't want it to break that. Okay. Uh, for right now, we're going to just kind of remove this stuff here. We will leave some of it hooked up because we can, but I think for the most part, we need to move some of these items around and reconfigure some of the other ones. So that'll be like that. That is producing. We're almost half full on that guy. And we'll go over to here overall. We'll just kind of throw these down just over here, make it all nice and messy. You guys love a mess, right? I'm going to put the smelter down at the end. We'll move this enrichment chamber to be right there. Okay, beautiful. And you know what? We'll do this to be up here and looking snazzy. And yeah, these things take forever to break, so don't misplace them. That's my one advice to all of you. So there we go. We should have power, ample amount of power, in all of our sources now to get where we need to be um, overall. So that should give us that should give us everything that we need for our jetpack. Nice. So jetpack, we're going to remove that. We're going to add in our jetpack. And, oh, I should probably double check the controls on this just to make sure we are good and operational here. Let's just see. Mechanism. Armor switch mode. Uh, F for flight. Beautiful. It's very loud, apparently. But as you can see, we have flight. Sweet. Awesome. Amazing. That's going to make everything so much easier. We also have a hover mode, and we can also disable it. With the slime boots, this is going to be very beneficial. And, uh, yeah, I am stoked. I am beyond stoked that we no longer have to, like, slingshot everywhere. We can literally just fly around. And uh, that's going to help us a ton in getting our cursed lasso with the ghast. So, yeah. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I think that we've done a decent amount of stuff. Again, this is going to have to change. Um, I'm going to have to try to remove that somehow. And uh, yeah, overall, pretty good. Pretty good overall. I would like to get some water automatically pumped into this electrolytic separator. Uh, but for right now, like I said, we're just going to do it manual. I don't see... Well, I mean, I see the need. Don't get me wrong. We need another mechanism pump uh, down here and just kind of connect it up to it. So that's that's my theory anyways. So we'll just do this. We got all of these machines in a row except for that one. That had our torch on it. Good. So we could pump water directly into this like so. Um, we could also use, I believe you can use industrial craft power for this system I can't recall but I am just stoked to have flight that is going to make it so much easier for us to be around to work around our base and get some of this chisel and bits and everything else up and running thank you all so much I really do appreciate it and uh, have yourselves a fantastic day bye bye for now oh one more thing slap those like buttons please I really do appreciate it I would love it. More likes. All the likes. Uh, that really does help more than you guys probably even realize. So keep that in mind. Hit that button. And have a good one.